Hi everyone. Welcome to uh, Cold and Windy London. Um, I thought I'd show you this Lilia Anseps, um, which is flowering at the moment. Um, it's uh, the end of January. And uh, it's the uh, Lilia Anseps season. Uh, certainly, if you grow them outside, like I do. Um, so, this one is a, is a small Lilia Anseps. Um, it's quite a small plant, as you can see uh, here. I have um, mounted, actually, I've got two really uh, ancestors mounted on this um, piece of bark here. Um, but uh, this top part here, so these pseudobulbs, uh, is is the ancestors that I'm, I'm talking about today. As you can see, it's quite a small, relatively small growing ancestors. Um, ignore all this white stuff, this is just my the calcium deposits from the hard water that, that we have here in London. Otherwise, the plant's healthy. Um, but this is uh, quite a nice shape, uh, quite a small flowered anseps. Only produces a couple of flowers on the spike so far. I'm hoping for more as it ages. Um, but it's quite a pretty one. I do like the form um, of, this, of this plant. Uh, as I say, I've I grow these mounted um, and they stay outside pretty much most of the year here in, in the south of London, uh, south of England. Um, yeah, uh, I should say this is a very short flowering spike as well. This is about 10, 12 centimetres long. Normally they're, you know, 30 centimetres, a foot, two feet long um, or so, but it's quite a delightful little thing. Um, a nice change from the long straggly growths. Um, quite nice, relatively short space in between the pseudobulbs as well. Anyway, that's uh, Lily Anseps.